It is currently estimated that there are around 28 million dogs in the country of Mexico, of which 70% are on the street. With 500,000 dogs being abandoned on the streets every year, it seems the sad reality of street dogs in Mexico is an impossible battle. We're digital nomads that have been living in Playa del Carmen, Mexico for several months now, and have seen many dogs on the street and in our neighborhood. However, not all these dogs are abandoned. Some small communities often collectively take care of street dogs, but they do not have a designated home. However, a lot of these dogs do not get the health care that they need and can often contract diseases such as distemper, a contagious and serious disease caused by a virus that attacks the respiratory, gastrointestinal, and nervous system of puppies. Today we are visiting one of the many dog shelters in Mexico that are doing their best to help these helpless dogs, Playa Animal Rescue, a no-kill dog rescue founded by a group of Americans, including a beautiful lady named Jan, back in 2011. Since October 2011, they have rescued and rehomed close to 1,300 dogs, and today we get to meet, walk, and play with some of the beautiful rescues. Hey buddy, I'm gonna leave you here, okay? You almost ready to go, honey? Yes. I hope dogs like the smell of ambery vanilla. <laughs> True. I just found this new perfume brand called Dossier. I'm actually obsessed with it. They make affordable dupes of luxury perfumes that are non-toxic, so they don't harm your body or your hormones, which is really important to me. I even ordered some for Lloyd. This one is Woody Sage and it smells so good. He doesn't wear it enough. I wish he'd wear it every day, <laughs> only for special occasions. Only for special occasions. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually available in Walmart in the US, which is really surprising. Um, I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested in trying it out. I became an affiliate because I'm a huge fan of it. So, links down below. So we got an email a couple of days ago uh, from Jan just saying that she'd seen our channel and that she was hoping we would be in Playa del Carmen a bit longer and that we could visit their dog shelter. Which is funny because this always happens to us. We've talked about wanting to go to a dog shelter and then a couple weeks later we get an email like this. Basically they take dogs in and it's a no kill shelter so it's not like one of those dog pounds where if nobody adopts them, you know, they get put down, these dogs get looked after. We want to take a tour around and see what they're doing and hopefully uh, we can help in some way. There's lots of cute dogs that I'm sure Mandy's gonna love. Bear's probably gonna smell them on us when we get back. <laughs> uh, but Jan's actually coming to pick us up. She's gonna take us there. We're gonna spend a couple of hours touring around the player animal rescue. This will be a little bit better experience. We actually did this in Bali at Bark for Bali Dogs. Uh, we'll link that video above if you're interested in watching it. It's an awesome organization as well and a ton of you guys went and visited and played with the dogs and donated after seeing that video. So we're super grateful for that. If you remember in that video, Lloyd was actually really sick on that day with Bali Belly. So he didn't really get to experience that, the whole place like I got to. Uh, so today he's in much better spirit. So both of us get to experience all the dogs. I'm sorry. We'll take you for a really good W-A-L-K after, okay? Literally, just go back from <laughs> I know, but he's so sucky. I love you, Bear. Dr. Mauricio. He is the resident vet at Playa Animal Rescue and has been with them since they started back in 2011. 
At any given time, there are between 50 and 70 dogs living at Playa Animal Rescue, and all dogs go through a strict quarantine and medical process, so Dr. Mauricio and his small team definitely have their hands full 24-7. Yeah, we're going to really sweet hearts. Don't pass inside. Don't allow them to escape. Okay. 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 Jan is the founder of this place. She set it up in October 2011. She just moved here and there was somebody, I believe who already had about 60 dogs and was leaving um, and had no exit strategy or anything to do with the dogs. Her being a very nice person, um, decided to take the dogs in and got this shelter built. She said within four months, I think it was. Yeah. And you can see if you walk around every section has um, a sign saying who donated the money. So every section is sponsored by somebody. So people have literally paid to get this place built. And then on the walls, all this artwork, she's sold these spaces. So there are other sponsors and it's dedicated to like other dogs and other people and things like that. So everything here has been paid for by sponsors, sponsorships. And she told me the total cost to set everything up was around 50,000 US dollars and then obviously there's ongoing costs to keep all these dogs fed and looked after every day and walked so it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> you can jump. Oops, we accidentally left a couple, let a couple out and now they're running crazy around the compound. Who are we walking? Yeah, just uh, make sure they don't escape, okay? Well, one of these ones. Wait, is this the one that, yeah, everyone just went crazy? Yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Come here. <laughs> Catch one, Lloyd. <laughs> there you go. Little That's Jeremy. Jeremy! We're walking Jeremy. <laughs> I asked which one we should walk and he's like, just catch one. Just go in and catch one. <laughs> like it was a snake or a crocodile or something. <laughs> it's actually harder than it 
than I thought. Yeah. Because they're all jumping up at you. Like, you just gotta try and put a leash on one of them. Jamie's a sweetheart. Hi, Jamie. Hi, darling. So anyone's allowed to come to the shelter and walk the dogs. You just have to send them an Instagram message or an email beforehand and let them know you want to come along. They keep their location secret just for security reasons so they only give it out um, to people that really need it or that are coming to help. There's lots of dogs that need to be walked. If you're like me and you love dog energy around you, you definitely should come do it. yourself for just $20 and all the proceeds go towards keeping the shelter running and um, I love it it's awesome we will leave a link to the shelter just down below if you're interested in donating volunteering as well as their Instagram if you want to send them a message so you can walk the dogs we'll all leave that down in the description thank you so much for watching we will see you guys in the next video bye